Hello and welcome to another uh, tutorial in the .NET uh, Crash Course. So now in this uh, tutorial we will talk about how to connect our own project to the uh, to the database where we can save and retrieve data and do uh, all the things uh, we can do to have data stored permanently somewhere so we can retrieve them, do operation on them and so on which is an essence or a major part of your application and working with your application now before we continue please check the description below for the developer success guide course where we give you three top secrets for you to success as a developer it's for free you will receive uh, three free emails uh, and many valuable contents by you like joining uh, us in the link uh, below so check the description please and hopefully you will find some value now let's start looking at our own application now what we gonna do we gonna use sql server as our own data storage and you are not limited to sql server you can use any a database connection provider that you want uh, and it will help you connect to the uh, data uh, so now let's first thing first go to the application over here and what we're gonna need to do we need to install some new git packages now new git packages in case you don't know them they are some let's call them shared uh, libraries that contain some code online for us to install and now if you come down here type in the word entity and you will uh, see this package microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sql server and install this package and have it installed on your project now i already done that i already have it installed and now i need to enable it inside the project if you remember in the previous lectures we talked about uh, how we can add services to the application and we added it the rating services now i'm gonna add a new uh, service and we're gonna add a new db context now when we say db context db context is the main holder uh, for on our application that we can uh, like have the different data uh, the different database configuration uh, configured and uh, via it we will be able to add the entities the tables and so on now we will add the db context the db context is simply a class now i'll do the following i'll head over to my solution over here uh, uh, i have uh, here the data folder i'll just add over here a new class now you don't really need to uh, add this manually but i prefer to do it for you like this so you can know uh, how to do it from scratch now i'm gonna come down here and i'm gonna create app db context a class now we have this class over here which we will add to it some uh, values and some configurations so we can uh, use it along entity a framework core so first thing first we will need to inherit from the db context class so let's do that now the db context class is inside the entity framework package so if you notice over here we have this tip and it says that you need to be using entity framework core now over here we need to add some configuration methods and these methods uh, will help us uh, inside on our configuration with the db context now i'll add these just like this let me clean the things over here so i can explain things much better for you so now i don't want you to really uh, know these items in depth because it's just only some configuration methods that not all of the time you will be coming over here and like using them now we have first thing first the constructor where we send to it some configuration like the options over here inside the database so we like till it do this and that with the database now also we have the configuring uh, method which will be raised and 
like it will have uh, some also configuration for us over here like some different configuration uh, other than the uh, options over here and we have the in model creating which will help us build our own database model now when we talk about a database model what do we mean we are talking about uh, a way we describe our own tables inside the database with <coughs> sorry with uh, like a link to the C sharp code and now uh, over here we will be uh, like calling the the methods over here and we will be like declaring our own uh, tables and so on now there are different ways to declare the tables over here I'll be using my own way and you are also free to do whatever you like but my way have some own certain uh, let's call them uh, some some advantages. Now, I need to add my uh, app DB context over here to the class, and over here we need to pass uh, some uh, properties so we can have our own uh, model and DB context class understand what we are doing and like know the database connect to it and so on. So now uh, over here, let's come. Let's pass these options. I'll just uh, copy paste them. Okay. Seems that I can do curly braces. So uh, here is the configuration we will need. If you see with me, I'm calling options, uh, arrow, lambda, expression over here. And I'm saying that I want to use SQL Server. Now here can be verized, like you can use some other providers for other databases as well. Now I'm gonna uh, need to do this import, just uh, like hit control and dot, and it will show you that you will need to use entity framework core. And now we have here what we need to connect to the database. Now, before we continue, we need to make sure that we have the default connection defined inside our own settings. So uh, I'll go uh, over here to the app settings file and make sure uh, that I have my, uh, my own connection string defined so i can like uh, access uh, the database and like uh, its own content now we need to make sure that we have the connection strings sections uh, over here early defined uh, and we need to have uh, the uh, the default connection uh, value defined so we can have it uh, available for us to access so let's take the default connection and we need here to add the connection string for on our own database now after we add the connection string we will be able to connect to the database and have it uh, like generated So I have prepared the connection string. Now uh, each device and each uh, PC and like each uh, place will have its own unique connection string. You can use like some online tools to generate the connection string for you. Now, after I've added the database connection and I have my connection up and running, I'll, I'll do the following. I'll head over to the database uh, let me show you it so let's head over to the uh, SQL server now we are gonna need to add a new table now I have this student's database I'll add uh, a new uh, student list table now I'll, I'll need to add a new ID over here I'll make this my primary key 
and I'll add uh, like uh, full name column and I'll just add uh, date of birth okay oh maybe that okay so we have these properties for our table and I'm gonna call it student list and we gonna uh, add this table and we have it defined inside the database so what we wanna do we wanna map this table to the SQL server uh, or I'm sorry to the C-sharp code so we can save and retrieve data from our own application so let's head back to the application and let's do the following so we have the connection string we have everything we need now we need to represent the table uh, as a class and we're gonna need to add a new folder I'm gonna call it models and over here I'll add student list and over here I'll need to add the properties for this uh, table the same exact properties inside the database I'll have them over here with the correct data type so I'll have here the full name and I'll have here also the date time of date of birth and I'll need to add this uh, data annotation so I can have uh, my uh, table uh, my uh, let's call them Uh, this uh, property to uh, like indicate that this is my uh, primary key of the table inside the uh, database so uh, I have here the you need to add the brackets okay and you will need to import this namespace visual said you will show it to you just uh, hit control and dot and it will be shown to you and here I have my student list now I need to tell my DB context that this class is actually uh, a, a representation for a table inside the database. Now, you have two options. You can come down over here, create a DB set of a student list like this. and you are all set pretty much that's that's the needed work and you can also use on model creating to have the data uh, data base table defined as a uh, entity for the uh, c sharp code so now let's actually try to test this i'll head over to one of the pages Uh, actually I'll come uh, over to this database or I'm sorry this uh, this page let's uh, try to duplicate it I'm gonna call it add student student I'm gonna save this I'm gonna add the correct routing I'll just need to add it to the menu oops, oops. Uh, we need to call it add student So we have the link available for us 
now uh, what we need to do we need to come uh, over here now uh, we can create and that's what you should do you can create a service like this and inside this service have the database context defined so uh, I'll do that really quick or uh, like over here I'll just come uh, add the I student I student interface I'm gonna call it the I student service so we understand it and it's a really simple service it's gonna just have a simple method of adding uh, uh, entities to the table so I'm gonna add void uh, add it's gonna just take a student list I'll need to add the import and just like that I'll add uh, a student service class that's quite simple so I'll have uh, this over here like this and I'm gonna add the student service I'm gonna make it inherit this and implement the interface we just need to come down here to the constructor and inject the app sorry app db context so we're gonna come down here we need to have it like this like this like this like this and check now how easy it is for us to add a student we just come down here call the db context dot student list as you can see dot add the student and just make sure that you add the save it changes now the ch save it changes is the one that will do the actual add on the database okay so make sure that uh, it will uh, like uh, save the changes for you in the database and we are all uh, set to go just let's inject this uh, over here student service with the uh, student service and we are all good to go let's inject this over the add student page just as we did with the uh, rating like this over here Uh, oops uh, uh, like this like this add the inject the name of the service and the name of the injection so I student service student service now this uh, need to have its own referencing so I'm gonna add to need to add using the namespace of the of the list and as you can see our own error is gone so now over here uh, I'm gonna just do a really really uh, simple one uh, over here I'm not gonna add uh, any input just like this dummy 
add so I can save you some time and I'm not gonna render anything just this add button it will do the following it gonna call the student service add method and over here we will pass a new student I'm gonna call him Joe and date of birth will be date time dot now as simple as that so let's run our application and let's see what we will have So uh, I'll head over, I'll show you now my screen. Okay, just a second. Uh, okay, so we have this error. That is because we uh, used a wrong injection. So let's head over here to the startup. I'll add not singleton because we cannot add singleton. Let's add uh, scoped. And we shall now uh, have the error gone hopefully now let me share with you my uh, browser okay I can see the page so I'll share with you my browser so you're gonna see uh, on the, uh, the browser Uh, hopefully you, ca you can see my browser okay so over here if I go to the add student uh, I'll do the following I'll hit the add button okay now uh, okay so we have this uh, error it says that uh, invalid object name student lists so we have the student list uh, table called uh, as student lists okay so if I hit back over here I need uh, I'll need to share with you oops I'll need to I'll show you over here just uh, the name of the table is uh, wrong now if you just head over to the output of your uh, debug if you can see over here you can see the actual SQL statement that is created and the student lists is not the name of the our table it's called the student list so that was the issue let's run it again okay we need to just modify the name let's run and you will see that we will see the actual data uh, in the database let me head over to my browser if I come and add a student now uh, you, you will not see anything for sure because we did not add any output but if I uh, head over here to the SQL if I query the database we can see our own object that we just inserted okay so the connection is a little bit slow so uh, here you can see we added it, the actual record and it's uh, saved inside the database if I uh, uh, head over to my uh, to my screen over here and I show you the output again I want to show you that you can see the actual statement unfortunately it seems that it didn't show over here but uh, you will be able to see actually the statements written uh, inside the database and like uh, the data will be saved to your database so that's how you will be able to connect your database to your application safe data and so on. 
and we will do more uh, tutorials on how to show data how to bind from form and so on so please stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to our channel so thank you for watching with me this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it uh, please check the description below to get the free success, uh, developer success course and also in the description we have some nice offer for you thank you for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next video of this series